Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for Terrameister Thorific Thursday. This is Beliefs Week, and I am going to talk about the universe. Now, I grew up Christian, of course, be, living in the United States, you kind of grow up Christian most of the, most 90% of the time. But I'm finding myself coming to grips with the fact that the Christianity I once defended is sounding more and more like other myths and legends I've enjoyed. Every single religion has a background like all the others. Maybe this is me coming out in a way, but Christianity, I, the way that it's practiced in the West, I am just like, I can't, I can't anymore. Though I do accept some biblical principles, I also kind of wonder, wait, if I were born in a different country or a different way, um, like if I were born in Iceland, would I be a Christian? So, or would I have accepted a lot of Christian beliefs because they were simply around? I do believe in the existence of a deity, maybe because I'm reluctant to give that up, but yet I find myself looking east because it is not a spirituality that disconnects us from our body and our mind. It is all encompassing like an egg. You can have the egg white is still an egg. The egg shell is still part of it. The egg yolk is still part of it. Even though we disconnect, even though we might have an egg white omelet, it's no less an egg than when it has a yolk with it. The reason that I like to say the universe is because I don't care for the concept of God and the Bible. A lot of atheists have become atheists, not because they they have, you know, uh, read atheist um, atheist books like Bertrand Russell or Matt Delahunty or Richard Dawkins, but a lot of them have become atheists from reading the Bible itself. And if it were any other literary character, God would be the villain. I've also faced a lot of church hurt for being a gay man, and sometimes I don't want any part of, they don't want any part of me when I acknowledge that yes, I am gay. The spiritual abuse that the queer community faces is unspeakable at the hands of people who claim to be loving and accepting of them as they are. So I've really begun to see the universe as a great thing, an entity that looks out for me, guides me, and forces me to look inside and battle and fight those battles it takes to bring myself to a higher consciousness. Some people call it God, I don't want to anymore. I believe in karma, getting what you give because that is how it works. Good energy begets good energy and the self is the center of all happiness because it has to begin and end with you. Our key to happiness is never someone or something else. So as I've lived, I've really enjoyed the fact that my energy draws wonderful people. We can live in fear of this world, and fear is justified in some cases, but we don't have to operate in fear. I've always been an optimist, and I believe that human nature does have a propensity for evil, but maybe the reason that we don't have to teach a child to lie or cheat or be selfish, but maybe the reason that I connect with Star Trek so intensely is because it is a show of elevating ourselves, our best selves over fear and worry. Now, it forces us to stare into the abyss at the moral questions without the simple answers because morality is never simple. It's not just God did it or God said it. Of course, we can't understand every little thing because we're not supposed to, but some things are revealed when we have the capacity for that understanding. So I feel that I feel limited by religion as it is practiced in the Western world and freeing when I embrace the greater aspects of spirituality. I also feel that in some, in some spiritual practices, sexual activity is a component of building up your spirituality. In a sex negative culture, it is nearly unthinkable to say it. I refuse to follow something that keeps my mind, body, and, and soul in different compartments instead of harmonizing them. So thank you so much for joining me for this Beliefs Week. Next Tuesday, I will talk about the benefits of writing out our schedule. Thank you and you enjoy your, enjoy your Thursday.